to be willing to die for something, that is, being a martyr, is immoral. This is because, if you are willing to die for something, you are also willing to kill for it. I've seen messages like this in several comment sections, and I was curious to find out where the idea emerged from. Google was no help, and ChatGPT pushed me in the wrong direction several times over. So the best I can do is address this idea directly. In my mind, the natural complement to something I'm willing to die for is something I'm willing to live for. These are often one and the same. If I devote the work of my life to raising my family, it doesn't surprise me, in the least, that if it came down to it, I'd be ready to protect my family to the end. I think to some people the idea of dying for a purpose is very odd, but I think that might just be because we live in places where that doesn't happen very often. I'm sure in war-torn countries this is on people's minds much more. In the end, I find the key to this is in our priorities. In our day, we are constantly making choices about where to place our attention. Do I spend time with my wife, or do I make a video? Do I exercise, or do I write for an hour? In each of these decisions, we slowly put together an image of what you value most. Imagine for a second that you were someone else looking at your life from the outside. He can see all the things you do and all the choices you make. From the perspective of that person, what would they think you value most? What do you spend most of your time doing? And what are you doing these things for? Two people may put in 12-hour shifts at the office, but their intentions can be very different. Do you work to make money so you can buy the new PlayStation? Or do you work just to get food on the table for your extended family? In saying this, I'm not trying to bring judgment, but I do want to bring in some self-reflection. If you value something outside of yourself, not for what it gives you, but for what it is, then it isn't hard to imagine paying the ultimate price for that thing. Now for the second part of this comment I mentioned before. This then implies you will be willing to kill for it. I'm not trying to be smart, but this isn't necessarily true. There are some people who are pacifists, who have given their lives and refused to throw a single punch. On the other hand, people have killed with little thought to what they would themselves die for. However, for the most part, I don't disagree. If something lies at the peak of your hierarchy of priorities, then chances are you're willing to kill for it. I mean, if you wouldn't, then not killing would be above whatever that thing is. While the commenter in my case is referring to religion, there are many cases where someone is willing to kill for this thing they hold in high regard. I've used the example of a family, but let's look at a country. I think in our context, chances are you know people who risk their lives as a response to love for their country and its people. The odd police officer who really cares and tries to make a difference, with the understanding that he may need to use lethal force to defend an innocent civilian. The soldier who desires to protect their home from those that would hurt its inhabitants. You may think both of these cases are bogus, and I can see how cynicism can get you there, but people have good reasons to do what they do. However, let us take this imaginary commenter on their case, that it is truly a bad thing that people are willing to kill for a cause. The major counter to this is when you love and prioritize something that necessarily excludes killing in its name. Whoever truly values peace and non-resistance could never even consider lifting a hand against their adversaries. Look at people like Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. His home was bombed on January 30th, 1956. Did he respond by seeking vengeance on his attackers? No. He continued to advocate for peaceful resistance against a corrupt governing authority. He never called for violence and would later die at the hands of an assassin for standing on the ground on what he believed in. I don't find any problem with honoring those who have laid down their lives in cases like these. If there's anything I can ask from you is that you take a moment and deeply reflect on what is valuable to you and most valuable to you. Are these valuable because of what you get out of them? Or is it for their own good that you treasure them? Now consider, what do you want to prioritize? What do you want to center your life around? Leave a comment, and I'll talk again later.